Thank you, Chelsea. It's Veterans Day today, and tomorrow a Buffalo Bill will thank our local vets in a big way. Reed Ferguson, the team's long snapper, is offering free barbecue and beer to veterans tomorrow from noon until 3 at First Line Brewing in Orchard Park. And Reed joins us now live to explain more about this. Reed, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for what you're doing here. I know you have a big family background, a military background. Tell us uh, what this means to you and tell us a little bit about your family history. Uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, first of all, thanks for having me on. Um, secondly, uh, as you mentioned, my family has a uh, long history of uh, quite a few service members across all branches of armed forces. I've had both grandfathers serve, uh, a lot of cousins, great uncles, uh, kind of a lot of the family tree has served over the years. Um, so it means a lot for me to give back to the veteran community uh, just because of all they've sacrificed in the past, present, and even in the future. So tell us about the event at First Line tomorrow, Reed. Uh, beer, some barbecue, uh, meet, uh, chance to meet the fans for you, maybe get a couple autographs for the fans. Uh, tell us what will be going on there. Yeah, so tomorrow from 12 to 3, um, kind of after our football stuff in the morning, uh, we'll be, uh, I'll be heading over to First Line Brewing. Uh, I've got a local guy, a uh, buddy of mine, cooking some uh, great barbecue. He's doing some wings, some brisket, mm. uh, kind of the whole nine yards. Uh, First Line Brewing is debuting a new uh, beer that they have collabed with uh, Brickyard Brewing. It's called the 11th Hour uh, Beer, so that'll be going out. Uh, and fans can show up. Anybody can show up. Uh, veterans get their first beer free on me and also... Um, some delicious barbecue. So uh, looking forward to seeing a bunch of people. I think uh, Veterans One Stop is also uh, there who I'm partnering with uh, for the event. I think they are also running a giveaway for some tickets to uh, next week's game against Cleveland for fans that show up with uh, Bill's gear on. So awesome. be yeah. sure to wear that red and blue. Awesome. Yeah, you've supported Veterans One Stop Center uh, of Western New York. If people don't know what that is, can you just uh, quickly explain what they do and why you support them? Sure. Uh, I've worked with uh, the Veterans One Stop Center for a number of years now since I've been in Buffalo. I've done, uh, I've worked with them for a few years on the My Cause, My Cleats uh, initiative through the NFL. Um, they are a local, basically a local charity, uh, bringing people together, bringing people and resources together uh, locally to improve the quality of life for those veterans who uh, are serving or have served in the armed forces. So uh, that was, I mean, you know, it's pretty straightforward, something I can get behind. Um, I've been around the veteran community, you know, like we talked about a second ago, like my whole life. So, um, you know, even even through events like mine on Saturday, they do a great job getting veterans out in the local Buffalo community, fostering a culture of love and respect for another and uh, just trying to, like I said, build those relationships and have a good time. And we also want to make sure our viewers know that Reed was the Bills nominee for the 2022 uh, NFL Salute to Service Award. But Reed, your brother Blake was the Dolphins nominee. I don't know if that's coincidence or what, but how cool is that for you and your brother to both be nominees? Uh, it's a, yeah, it's very cool. Um, incredible honor, first of all, to be uh, the nominee for the Bills. Um, I think my brother is my brother's uh, second year in a row being nominated for uh, as the Dolphins representative. So uh, extremely proud of him and what he's done so far in his few years down in Miami. But, um, you know, just uh, I, for those who are not familiar, it's kind of run similar to the uh, NFL Man of the Year, Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, where each team will get a, each team nominates a representative. Uh, the fans can vote on them uh, through a link. Uh, you can find that on my social media pages. Um, and the winner gets uh, $25,000 to a charity of their choosing. I think the Man of the Year is maybe a little more, but... Uh, that's kind of what's you know what we're what all the nominees are uh, competing for at the moment. So uh, it, it means a lot because I spend you know I spend a great deal of time in season, off season, uh, meeting with a lot of veterans and building uh, a lot of relationships because uh, it's it's important to me to to recognize them for their sacrifices and that certainly doesn't stop when they're out of the service. Mm -hmm. All right, Reed, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for what you're doing tomorrow in Orchard Park. I know there's going to be a big turnout there and you're helping a lot of people. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on and hope to see everybody out there.